Hey everyone, Emily with Bob's Watches. Today we're talking all about Panerai and going over the different collections that make up this historic brand's catalog. Also, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all of our latest video content. Panerai was founded way back in 1860 by Giovanni Panerai, but it was not until 1993 that the brand started selling watches to the public. In its early years, Panerai primarily supplied timepieces and other precision instruments to various military branches, most notably the Italian Royal Navy. However, when the brand relaunched in the 1990s as part of what is today known as the Richmont Group, Panerai became a luxury company and it now operates as one of the major players in the industry, boasting a highly passionate community of collectors known as the Paneristi. Originally, Panerai was based in Florence, Italy, and the brand itself has a strong Italian heritage, but its new headquarters are located in Switzerland, so modern Panerai watches are in fact Swiss made. Despite making the transition from military supplier to luxury manufacturer, Panerai's bold design DNA has always remained a core component of everything that it produces, and it has become the single characteristic that most defines the company today. At the present time, all Panerai watches fall into one of four collections, the Radiomir, the Luminor, the Luminor Due, and the Submersible. The Radiomir collection gets its name from Panerai's first luminous material, which was radium-based and patented by the brand in 1916. Watches from the Radio Mir collection largely follow the design of the original Panerai models that were supplied to the Italian Navy during the 1930s and 40s, and they feature large, cushion-shaped cases with luminous hands and hour markers. You can immediately identify a Radio Mir because it will not have any type of crown guard system like the rest of the watches in Panerai's catalog. Cases can be found in the original Radio Mir configuration, with wire lugs and an onion-shaped crown or in the Radio Mir 1940 configuration, which features thicker lugs and a more cylindrical winding crown. Probably the most famous collection in Panerai's catalog is the Luminor, and this is likely the watch that first comes to mind whenever someone says Panerai. Like the Radio Mir, the Luminor also gets its name from one of Panerai's luminous materials, but in this case, it is the tritium-based one that replaced Radio Mir and was patented by the brand in 1949. The case of the Luminor largely follows a design that first appeared in the 1950s, with a cushion-shaped profile and thicker lugs protruding from the case. However, where it differs from the Radio Mir is when it comes to the winding crown. Extending over the crown in a bridge-like fashion is a prominent guard that features an integrated lever that, when latched, pushes the winding crown into the case to prevent accidental operation. In addition to being Panerai's largest and most diverse collection of watches, the Luminor has also served as the basis for the brand's two other collections, the Luminor Due and the Submersible. The Luminor Due collection first joined the catalog in 2016, and it is essentially a more refined version of the classic Luminor that offers smaller sizes, thinner cases, and less utilitarian dial options. Panerai doesn't really produce dress watches in the traditional sense of the word, but the Luminor Due is about as close as you will find in the brand's current lineup. Sacrificing some of the water resistance offered by its siblings, the Luminor Due gains a much more manageable case profile, enabling it to easily be paired with formal attire, all while still retaining the prominent crown guard that defines the Luminor. Lastly, the Submersible is Panerai's fourth collection, which consists of modern dive watches fitted with external rotating timing bezels. Prior to 2019, when the Submersible became its own standalone line of watches, it was previously part of the Luminor collection, so it is not uncommon to find models that say both Luminor and Submersible on their dials. Due to previously being an extension of the Luminor, the overall design of the Submersible is largely the same, complete with its cushion-shaped case and signature crown-protecting bridge. However, models from the Submersible collection all have rotating timing bezels to meet the requirements of modern dive watches, and they typically also have higher depth ratings than many of their non-diver counterparts. Beyond these four collections, it's also important to note that Panerai watches can be found with both in-house and outsourced movements, and fitted with an incredibly wide variety of different complications that range from simple power reserve indicators and GMTs to flyback chronographs and even equation of time models. Additionally, Panerai is big on innovation when it comes to new materials, and alongside traditional options such as stainless steel and gold, you will also find watches crafted from other materials such as titanium, bronze, and ceramic. Furthermore, the brand even offers a handful of high-tech proprietary material options such as a carbon fiber-based composite known as Carbotech, 
and a metallic glass material that Panerai calls BMG Tech. Regardless of the specific model or its configuration, all Panerai watches are united by their signature bold design language, making them instantly recognizable timepieces all around the globe. With prices ranging from just a few thousand dollars to well over six figures, there is a Panerai watch to suit nearly every possible budget. So the real question comes down to which one is right for you. Thanks for watching our video on Panerai watches. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all of our latest video content.